first of all, you're very involved in you know helping bring this technology to the fore. But how would you characterize how much farther ahead China is here compared to the United States? Well, good afternoon, Emily. And first of all, I'd like to thank you for having me on your program. Uh, Acoustis Technologies is a high-tech uh, silicon-based filter company. We allow uh, smartphones to connect uh, to the internet, and uh, we're on the NASDAQ, traded under the symbol AKTS. Now, regarding uh, 5, 5G and, and how uh, where, where the U.S. is positioned, uh, we may be starting a little behind uh, China, but if you look over the next five years, I believe what you'll see is about uh, 275 billion uh, spent on uh, infrastructure investments in the U.S., uh, equating to about three million jobs. And we think, uh, in addition to that, that'll it, it should come on strong with uh, about a 500 billion in uh, contribution to the uh, GDP in the U.S. Is it a little bit behind or a lot behind? I mean, a, a report from Deloitte shows that China has deployed over 350,000 new cell sites, while the U.S. has built fewer than 30,000 since 2015, and that China has outspent the U.S. by $24 billion on 5G technology already. Couldn't that gap only widen? Uh, it certainly could widen, but if you look at the, if you look in, uh, in our, with our customer base, we're seeing uh, activity, uh, both uh, uh, Asian activity for development, but also uh, activity that's going to be directly benefiting the U.S. Uh, so uh, it's, uh, it certainly could widen, but uh, that's, I think you also have to remember Qualcomm is in the, in the U.S., and they certainly were a leader in the 4G LTE, and uh, we, we see them uh, as certainly a, a strong, having a stronghold and a, a big contribution in the U.S. Uh, with uh, their chipsets as well. This administration is very concerned about China outpacing the U.S. in technology in particular. How does the trade dispute, do you think, how will that impact um, the U.S. versus China 5G race? So if you look for specifically for 5G in, in our business, which is, uh, again, these, uh, these high-performance filter chips that operate very high in the spectrum, uh, there's only two competitors in the space, and those two competitors uh, reside in the U.S. So whether it's uh, trade tariffs, uh, the world is going to acquire their filter technology from the U.S., and Acoustis Technologies uh, was, uh, was founded in the U.S., is manufacturing in upstate New York, and we think uh, will be... Uh, there, there's no other choice of, of where these filter chips are going to come from. So I think we're uniquely positioned in that regard uh, to participate in this 5G market. Now, we all understand how 5G will make our phones faster, but remind us why 5G is so important to the broader tech sector. I mean, the coming of 5G could be revolutionary for everything from self-driving car technology to augmented reality. That, that is correct, and I think as your, your introduction noted, uh, things like uh, uh, autonomous vehicles uh, for artificial intelligence, uh, there's uh, high definition streaming, uh, there's uh, uh, low latency uh, based uh, gaming applications. Again, the, the, latency for, the latency problem in 4G LTE it will, will be uh, improved by a, roughly a factor of 30 times uh, which really make uh, these applications can become more real time uh, by removing uh, such delays. So, uh, and, and I don't even think that touches, uh, we've been reading over the last few years about 50, connect, 50 billion connected devices uh, on, uh, on the network. And I think uh, you gotta have the capacity and you need a high speed, uh, uh, high speed network in order to make that a reality. So it's, uh, it's pronounced, and uh, we, we see a tremendous opportunity, a lot of, a lot of additional bandwidth opening up, and uh, that's, that's capacity. And that also creates challenges in these filters, which uh, we believe we're uniquely qualified uh, to address and uh, highly focused on uh, really that new spectrum that's opening up uh, for 5G. We really see ourselves as becoming a dominant player uh, in that 5G market.